Hello, welcome. It is the Nish Jackson Show. My name is Rusty Humphreys. That is Nisha Jackson. Welcome to the program. If you would please go to nishajackson.com. That is nishajackson.com or onepeakmedical.com and hit the subscribe button and share it and all those good things. What is all this stuff we have in front of us? This is sort of Nisha Jackson meet, meets Rachel Ray today. Okay. We've we got quite a show here for you just to show what you can do with your immune system. I've had more people email me this question than any other question in the last couple of months. And that is, what can I do to either A, get myself back since having COVID, B, prevent getting COVID or C, not have side effects with the vaccine that I need to take. So I just started sharing with people as they asked, I started sharing, well, these are some of the things that I do that I have found um, through a lot of research of my own over the years that is the best plan for antiviral, um, not only to help keep from getting sick, uh, for most people, but also to help prevent side effects once you are sick. And that's the key. If you're getting the vaccination, you've already had COVID, you're worried about your immune system, maybe your lifestyle hasn't been such that it's not helping your immune system. This plan that I put together that we share with our patients, I just wanted to share it with you today so that you would have an idea of what you could be doing to get yourself back. Because I think people are generally worried. Absolutely. This is a very important program. So she's talking about sharing. Share this show right now. Don't forget, uh, because you want to make sure all your family, friends, loved ones know this stuff so they're going to get better and everybody is going to feel better. And yes. that's that's a great yes. thing. All right. What do you got? Is it big? Is it hard to do? Well, it's it's pretty long. It's a couple pages long. But again, um, there's a lot of information in here. Daily habits, uh, supplementation, um, some other suggestions on what not to do that maybe you're currently doing. But I just want to stick to kind of the basic protocol today because I thought it would be most helpful for people to just know what to do like today. Okay. So first of all, uh, we've been doing injectables. These are vitamin injections. This is a vitamin injection menu. It's on our website. And nutrient injections are a way to get high dose nutrients into your muscle and into your system right now. It doesn't have to go through your gut, especially if your gut's been compromised by being sick or compromised because you, you're not treating it very well. You've been eating a lot of processed foods and sugars uh, that are harming your, your gut's ability to be able to absorb all the nutrients. So it bypasses all that and gets your nutrients in. So I went to the clinic and I got a Nisha shot. I didn't know what was in it, but it just said Nisha shot. Yeah. So I got one. Was that a good one? Yeah. So, uh, on this menu, I finally put together just really during the last year and a half when, when people are generally con genuinely concerned about their about their health. I put the shot together because it's a combination of many of the shots. So it's sort of like the coup de grace shots. And um, it has all of the B vitamins in it. It has vitamin C, it has magnesium, it has taurine. It has all of the necessary ingredients to really optimize your energy, your optimize your immune system, lower inflammation, and people actually do quite well on that. So on the protocol, if you're, if you're concerned about having side effects with the COVID vaccine, or if you've had COVID and you're not coming back from it very well, you're really suffering, maybe you haven't gotten your taste back, mm. maybe you haven't got your energy back, I've had people say I've had this rash on my body for months. I recommend that what you do is that you do the Nisha shot twice a week for a month. Sounds like a lot, but it makes a really big difference in getting people back. It's just all the nutrients are available right when you get the shot. So I recommend that. And, and if you're going to get the vaccine, I would recommend doing the shot twice a week before you get it and twice a week for two weeks after. Um, I've done really good with patients optimizing their, um, not only optimizing their immune system, but also reducing the side effects from the vaccine if they're even gonna have them. Lots of people don't, mm -hmm. but some people do. Uh, we also recommend, I recommend during this time, not just every single day of the year, but during this time, I recommend at least 10,000 international units of vitamin D. That sounds like a lot. It is a lot, but again, we're trying to treat a specific problem. Almost everybody that comes in that's not on vitamin D tests low. 
Hmm. So 10,000 international units of vitamin D, and it is a good idea to be tested to make sure after you've done this for a month that you, uh, your levels are not getting too high. Uh, and then we drop it down after that. Uh, B12 drops, uh, these are actually uh, B complex drops. It's B12 high dose is um, 1,000 micrograms per dropper full, but it also has the other B vitamins in it, which are really important for your immune system and also to get your energy back. Zinc is something that we uh, also think is important for your immune system. You've, I'm sure you've read about zinc and the importance uh, of that in protection. We love vitamin C in the powder form because I recommend about 4,000 milligrams, which is one teaspoon of this every day in divided doses. So maybe a half, uh, a quarter to a half a teaspoon in the morning and a quarter to a half a teaspoon in the afternoon in your water bottle. Okay, now if you can't get this, a big old jug of orange juice would be just as good, Yeah, right? no. You don't want to use orange juice. I would recommend no orange juice because we're trying to limit sugars because sugar reduces your immune system. We're, we're trying to get rid of anything that reduces your body's natural defenses. Um, also, we talked about vitamin D, magnesium. Magnesium is one of those uh, supplements that is in Airborne, which is also, by the way, a great supplement to take. You can buy Airborne anywhere. Mm -hmm. And if you're traveling, I'd actually recommend that you do take Airborne. Uh, magnesium is one of the ingredients in Airborne and also very important as an antiviral. Is uh, there a special time of day you should be taking that or that does this stuff does that doesn't matter any time yeah. is great. You can take these anytime but just remember vitamins work better with food. So they absorb better with food. Herbs actually work better on an empty stomach and so do amino acids but but vitamins work better on an empty stomach. I mean excuse me with food. Magnesium, I rec recommend taking at night. It's a natural relaxer, so you don't really want to be super relaxed during the day and feeling kind of sleepy. Uh, it's a natural muscle relaxant, and it works great at night for sleep. So this is kind of like the basic plan. Uh, we have a protocol that we give our patients when they come in if they request it, if they want just a little bit more of a boost. The other supplement that I actually don't have here right now, and I can't believe it, is Brand X. The Brand X pickup sticks are very important because they contain a high dose of quercetin. And quercetin is an ingredient that works as a very potent antiviral. In fact, they did studies even just in the last year looking at COVID and quercetin, and it was amazing the results. Hmm. So again, these are just things that help complement what you're doing already, um, give you a little bit of a boost. There's no um, surefire way of preventing uh, viruses, but you can give your body supplements that help boost your defense mechanisms, which is really what we're trying to do here. And then I thought I would just share some other things that I do personally. Okay. I mean, why not? Um, I'm a, I'm a, this, I'm a this, medicine woman, yeah, right? This is where the weird stuff comes in. Yeah. So. <laughs> this is weird slash really good. Uh, this is pine needles. These are pine needles. You can actually get it in a concentrated form. Did you just get um, that in like your tree in the backyard? No, I didn't oh. pick these. I ordered these on okay. Amazon. They're, but they're just regular pine needles. Yeah, they're regular pine needles. You can actually go and get them. White pine is the best. There are some pines that are toxic you should stay away from, but not very many, ponderosa being one of them. So this is white pine, and you just, um, you actually cold steep it. This is in our protocol also. Cold steeping, what it does is it preserves the vitamin C in it. But this is, this is important for not only um, helping you get back from being sick or helping reduce the side effects of the vaccine. It does not protect you from, a, from, a, um, from get, you know, for getting uh, sick. So it's not necessarily going to keep you from getting sick. But if you have been sick uh, and you're not getting back or you're worried about side effects of the vaccine, this is a great, great idea. Three, three servings of that a day. So, so three. when you say cold seep, you just put it in the water and let it sit there for Overnight. Overnight. So you put three teaspoons of pine needle tea, three to four teaspoons, in a um, in a, a a large container like you know about this size, 32 ounces, and then you let it steep overnight. You can leave it on the counter or you can put it in your refrigerator. Hmm. So it's not you can boil water first, let it get to sort of lukewarm, and then put the um, pine needles in. That preserves the vitamin C in it, and it's very effective. 
Um, also then in the morning, you just strain the pine needles out. You definitely don't want to drink those suckers because they'll get stuck in your throat. So strain it out and then drink it throughout the day. And I'm guessing not a cup of sugar. Not a cup of sugar, just pine needle tea. It actually doesn't even really have that much taste, believe it or not. Okay. I also... Does it taste like Christmas? No, it doesn't taste... It doesn't even <laughs> smell like Christmas. Um, well, it kind of does smell a little bit like Christmas. So other things that I like to do every day, and one of these uh, shaker bottles, you know, with a little shaker thing inside, I like to do a scoop of greens, a scoop of reds. I love this company, Organifi. They are excellent, and I think their supplements are wonderful. Um, I also put a large tablespoon of flax and chia seeds in it, um, uh, which is excellent for the gut balance and the colon. Uh, and what else do I put in here? Uh, I put a scoop of stamina powder. I don't have that out here, but these are wonderful ways of providing your gut with what it needs because your gut is all about your immune system. Your immune, your immunity starts in your gut. Hmm. So I try to have one of these every day. So it says right on here, no, uh, no shopping, no blending, no juicing, and no cleanup. All you can get all of your healthy superfoods in one glass. Yes. So that's the idea behind that. That's right. Some of the other tools in my toolbox for people that just, you know, because what do you do? You get sick. Mm -hmm. And uh, with anything, it doesn't have to just be COVID. With anything, you get sick. And then you, you go in and maybe they put you on steroids. Maybe they put you on whatever, antibiotics, but you still take forever to get back. This is true with any flu viruses in the mm -hmm. past, right? Yeah. So there, uh, there's things that I've just learned over the years that works really well. This is one of them. It's Essiac tea. It's a Native American tea that's been around for many, many decades. And uh, it's very effective at boosting your immune system and, and getting you back more quickly. So I love this. It's also good uh, for... Um, uh, if you think you've been exposed to start taking it to optimize because it's an excellent antiviral. And where can you get some? Is this like at every store? You, you, just, you can online? order it on the internet. SEAC okay. team. There you go. I love that stuff. Yeah. It looks like uh, this is like an 1800s kind of thing. It's yeah. And by cool. the way, I just wanted to make mention about the, the pine needle tea that the pine needles um, are really important because it was actually this ingredient that's in pine needle tea that this herb in pine needle tea that actually was what Tamiflu was made from. Huh. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. So Tamiflu is a prescription antiviral. So these are just things you can do on your own that I believe in the big picture uh, make a big difference. There's other things you can do uh, besides the Essiac. I love the idea of mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms have many, many, many medicinal properties to them. They're excellent anti-inflammatories, antiviral. They have antiviral properties to them. You can get concentrated um, um, uh, mushrooms in an extract that you can take every day that has all the mushrooms in it for immune system. Uh, my community dash extract. I don't have a bottle of that here, but if you go to my community dash extract, uh, you will see that the, the, the web, actually the website's called hostdefense.com. That's H O S T defense.com. And they have an excellent, um, combination mushroom at, at 17 different mushrooms, so very potent mushrooms that you can take in a liquid form. Sounds disgusting, but it's very effective. And we know, we've known forever that mushrooms are a wonderful way of enhancing the immune response. Sounds so that's pretty, it. Sounds pretty uh, complete. But the most important thing are the nutrient injections, the vitamin C, D3, make sure you're on D3, at least 5,000 international units. B complex, uh, magnesium, and zinc. These are the things that, that I use and we use in our office. Again, I like people to be under the care of a healthcare provider. If you feel like you need that help, give us a call at One Peak Medical. We do televisits. If you don't live in this area, we can still work with you. So just consider that as an option because I want you to be well and I want you to get back if you've been sick and I don't want you to be terrified of doing something, taking a vaccine or having had the vaccine and now you don't feel well. So I, I don't want you guys dealing with that. I want you, I want you to be okay. And I can say from being here. I want you here, to be great. 
Yeah, I, I've been here for a, a week uh, going to all the different clinics uh, One Peak has, and I've had a, a number of these injections. Uh, the, the Nisha shot really, I really felt that one. That one mm -hmm. really made a difference. That's awesome. So, uh, from a personal point of view, I can endorse the one wonderful injections at One Peak Medical and all these other products. So you can yeah. get these at nishajax.com or onepeakmedical.com. Uh, find out what they do. And if you're near one of those clinics, you should really go there and uh, get your hormones tested, yes. right? And and mm -hmm. find out what the, one of those providers can do mm -hmm. for you. They really are doing excellent, excellent work. Thank Anything you. else you want to do to wrap this baby up? No, just I don't want to make any claims that this is fail proof. These are just suggestions on things that you can add to your current plan. Um, and I guess, I guess some of the other things that I just maybe I could add real quick is you really need to be sleeping at night, at least eight hours at night, at least. Dry brushing your body is a really good idea. You can get little dry brushes and brush your body. You could do it in the shower or you can do dry brushing. Why is that? I've never heard that one. That's, that's wonderful for detoxification and circulation. Huh. Uh, and it's 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 a really good idea when you're trying to like work on your. Would you get like system. a regular hairbrush or something? No, you get dry. You get body brushes. You oh. have to buy them on the internet okay. or I'm a dude you know that get go somewhere local and get them. Okay. So then, anyway, those are the things that I would recommend on the peak protection plan. All right, very very important stuff. Will you please share this with your family so they are at their peak protection as well and be at their peak performance peak performance okay <laughs> uh, go to onepeakmedical.com as well or nishajackson.com hit the share button please hit the uh, like and subscribe as well we do appreciate you and for nisha jackson i'm rusty humphries and this is the nisha jackson show